You've worked with uh, Madonna. You've worked with uh, Lady Gaga. And Tell, I've I'll, gotten to choreograph a couple of Paula's videos, too. And a couple of... Paula, you and Paula go back. Yeah. Tell me about... Um, I'm interested in all that about Lady Gaga. I want... Okay. What kind of... Is she a great dancer as well as performer and singer? She's a great artist. And I think dancing is one of her elements, you know, one of her components. You know, you appreciate her because you can see her in the theater of what she does and, you know, the sort of concepts that she comes up with for her performances. And that's what I got out of it. It's total professional. You know, she only cares about the art. You know, she's willing to put in the work. And it was just a joy to work with her, really. Is she on the way to being as big as Michael Jackson was? I think that she's on the way to being a megastar. You know, I don't like to compare my artists because, you know, they all are so unique. But I think that she has a lot of, this, a lot of the qualities that I feel are necessary to really have a long career. And a mystery around her. You know, we know you don't know much about this person. And, and you know, I, one thing I think she does share with Michael Jackson is... The workaholic kind oh, of yeah. the, the, that work ethic. This woman is really just so driven. Yeah. Michael is the one who told me about her at first. When we were preparing for This Is It, we put together a short list of artists that we would like to join him on stage, you know, um, including Gladys Knight, including Janet Jackson, including Mariah Carey, including Alicia Keys, um, including Justin and Usher. Wow. And then I said, Is there anybody else? And she said, Yeah. He said, Yeah, Lady Gaga. And I go, Really? He goes, yeah, she's great. You got to get into her. So then I started to listen to her, and I and I got it. And after Michael passed, um, one of the first work calls I received was from her to direct her tour, saying, "Hey, I'm not going to join him on stage, but boy, obviously now, but boy, I would like to work with you." Yeah, and it was fun, and oh, we had a great time, and it was awesome. And she was very much like Andy Warhol, like she has this team, House of Gaga that surround her. They call it House of Gaga? Yeah, and so everybody wow. contributes. And it was really cool. It reminded me of Andy Warhol. And of course, I was able to work with my dear friend Zaldi, who does the costuming and did the costuming for Michael for This Is It. Sure. So it was great. And he was Zaldi does the costuming for Lady Gaga? He did. For Is he the tour. main guy when it comes to her fashion well, period? Well, she worked with him for, I think, some photos and, of course, the live show. But she works with different stylists and different she does. artists and different designers all the time. You got to shake it up when you're... I mean, nobody can come yeah. up with that many ideas. Yeah, and she can get it. Who came know? up with the meat dress? I can't remember that. I don't know, but it was definitely a sensation. Was that a, a still still a sensation? Yeah. Travis Payne in studio tonight and uh, just, you know... When you think about Michael at the end, you, you know, I remember there was, there was a meeting four days before Michael passed away. You and Kenny and a bunch of people getting together to talk about Michael needing more sleep and getting his rest. Um, do you think now, you know, in retrospect, that Michael would have been able to do 50 shows in London? Yes. And let me tell you why. I actually was not at that meeting. Mm -hmm. um, I was at the arena you know, uh, holding rehearsals with the team um, while, um, you know, Kenny and some of the others uh, were in that meeting. But um, I definitely believe that Michael would have been able to do the shows because the 50 shows were stretched over nine months. Mm -hmm. So we were doing like 1.5 shows a week. And he was going to be in one place. Oh, I thought it was like every night. It was mm -hmm. over the summer, 50 mm -hmm. shows. Yeah, over six months. They ended up just stretching it that to, to a longer period. It's going to be like six to nine months. It was oh, going okay. to be a while. And the thing was, the beautiful thing was that he was going to be in one place. All he was going to have to do was take a car ride to the venue, as opposed to past tours where we had to get on planes and cross time zones and all of that. And that was really taxing on everyone's body. So this was going to be a new way for him to tour, which I think would have been tailor-made to what would be necessary for him to complete all 50 shows. I don't think people know that. I, I mean, think there's a lot of details people don't know. That it was, that it was that over way. a nine-month period. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So just uh, 1.5 shows a week. Yeah, no more than two. What? Uh, do, do you have any contact with the kids? Or do you, from what you know, yeah. how are they doing? Cause yeah, you know, they're surrounded by love. And their family is so tight-knit. And the, the, the children are going to be fine. Um, we did have the um, pleasure of, of taking Paris to uh, see a musical for her birthday. Kenny Ortega and I um, took the children. Oh, great. And, um, and it was great. Um, what did you see? We saw Cats. Beautiful. <laughs> we saw Cats uh, for her birthday. And that was the first time I'd seen them since the memorial. And, and she's doing okay and she's happy? Yeah, and... I mean, you know, as could be expected. They're sure. grieving and they're, you know, they're sad. But I think they're, they're, their family is strong and they are protected. So they'll be fine. She's such a beautiful 
girl. I yeah. just I can't wait. Uh, nice to watch her grow up. Yeah. And I, I'm glad that she's been afforded privacy of, over the last yeah. year. Michael would appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, and they're so smart. I mean, they're so, so smart. Getting to be around them while we were working on the show, I was so impressed. I was like, wow, look at these little people. You know, they really have themselves together. Outstanding. Travis Payne is here in studio. He's a judge now, or we call it mentors. Experts. Uh, experts, yeah. not a judge. He is an expert. <laughs> On Live to Dance with Paula Abdul, uh, Wednesday nights now. Yeah. On CBS. CBS. It's good stuff, man. All live. All live, and yeah. and I I again I want to say I think you are perfect for it be, because of the gravitas that you bring. I mean, you have your resume and your track record is unmatched. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Looking good on there, my friend. Thank you. Always a pleasure.